guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video so in today's video i'm going to talk about some disappointing makeup that i haven't like featured in my disappointing videos like my favorites and disappointments throughout the month these are just products that have been slowly like I don't know why, but I haven't mentioned them in those kinds of videos. So I thought that I would just share some products that I didn't like and that I cannot recommend. But you might love some of these products because they might be some of your preference. And if that's the case, then that's awesome. But before we get into the video, I highly suggest you guys to subscribe. I upload a lot of videos and I also do all cruelty free makeup videos so if you're into that then please subscribe and keep on watching so the first product i'm gonna talk about is from freedom makeup and if you don't know who freedom makeup is it's basically makeup revolution's daughter company and i bought a kit with three nude liquid lipsticks you could say they are like li li lip liqueurs i think they are called because they don't really dry down they are more like a glossy lip you know what i am going to put one on so you guys can see so i'm just going to remove my makeup or my yeah my my lip product and by the way i do have a tutorial on this look in case you want to watch it i will leave it up here it's like a get ready with me it is a get ready with me you know what i mean okay which one to choose yeah i think i'm gonna go with this one this is like the one that I had. This is, by the way, they sell these in kits. And this was one kit that I bought during Black Friday. And this one is called Pro Melt TS True. Oh, okay, no. Okay, sorry. These are the Pro Melts. And this shade is called True. God, I look insane. Uh, this is just not opaque enough. Like, I think I went in like five times or something. Let me put a bit of the shade Neutral, which is the middle shade in the edges. Ah, no! Okay, I'm gonna take the darkest shade. Yeah, I think that this looks a bit better. The darkest shade was, by the way, called um, Naked. So the reason why I don't like these is just because of the fact that they're not opaque enough. I think I went in like 10 times or something. And it kind of just leaves this disgusting cast right here. And the wear time is oblivion. I think that's the word, oblivion. It's just not there. Like the wear time is just awful. And you'll get these like disgustingly... Um, you know, when you talk a bit, and then you'll get these disgusting things right here. I, I don't really know what they're called, but we will talk a bit throughout this video, and hopefully you can see what I mean. Another thing I was so disappointed about, this is also from Makeup Revolution, or just Revolution, I mean. This is the Ultra Cool Glow Kit. I bought this one because I actually had the ABH Moonchild Glow Kit, but I got rid of it for some reason, like I sold it to someone, and when I had sold it like six months later or three months later or whatever, I just, oh, I was like, why did I sell it? Now I want it back. So I don't know what was up with that because I did not like a, a um, colorful highlighter and now it's my jam. It's the only thing that I use, almost not the only thing that I use, but you know what I mean anyway. I feel like I have one of those disgusting things right now. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, you see? I ha it's like a ball right here. Ugh. Ugh. So sorry. I guess that I will get another disgusting thing right there in a minute, but we'll see. So I bought this because I love the shade of it, and the shades are beautiful. Like, the first time I used this, um, I really enjoyed it. Like, I bought it mainly to have, like, an inner corner highlight, but then also to have it on my cheeks, and... The formula of these are a bit thicker, like I would compare them to the Jeffree Star Skin Fruits if you have ever tried them. If you haven't, I would say like they are of a thicker consistency. Like a brush like this wouldn't really 
do much for you it wouldn't really pick up any product so i would recommend the sigma high cheekbone highlighter f3 brush instead if you have a formula like that that is a bit thicker but you haven't really found a good brush then that is an alternative anyway the thing with this is that it just dries up in the pan like it gets hard pan and i'm over that i'm so sick of it i just hate it like i used this so much the first week i got this but now i don't even want to use it anymore because it's just yeah it has like hard pan so you have to scrape it off and i just like that like i loved the green one and i love the pink one but i just i can't deal with hard pan and i think that that is something that makeup revolution needs to really work with or revolution that they are called now unfortunately i have two other makeup revolution highlighters or revolution highlighters to talk about so it's these wheels i first of all bought the shade i think this was the first one i bought and this is the shade champagne kiss and first off, I did like it. I thought that this would be like a champagne shade, but it has some pink shift to it. It is real pretty, but also this one gets hard pan and it is a stiffer consistency. I didn't know that it got uh, hard pan when I purchased this one. This is the color wheel. And I think that this is really smart. And especially like if you don't want to spend a lot of money, but still want to get a lot of colorful highlighters i thought that this would be a great product to really recommend i feel like i have one of those balls now again yeah it's coming along like the product is just ah oh, it's awful yeah but i thought that this would be a great product to recommend but when i started trying it it's just it's just the same like it gets hard pan and i hate highlighters that get hard pan i'm just not up for it and i just don't think that it's okay so i love the fact that when i got these like the the the, the pan sizes are so large like they're so big but the formula is just not it's like a bull for me it's just not worth it a product that i purchased a very long time ago i purchased this last summer is the urban decay sun beached bronzer now don't get me wrong like the packaging of this is stunning and i know that this was limited edition and they brought it back but i bought the completely wrong shade so i bought the shade sun kissed because i have for so many years bought too dark bronzers but i can still make them work for me i just don't like the shade of this this is too light and it's too red like i'm just gonna swatch it right here as you can see it just doesn't really do anything and i mean right here i am very very pale and i have a lot on but it's just, it's just doesn't really do anything it just leaves my skin looking a bit red now don't get me wrong i still use this but i only use it because i have it it's hard to explain but i have wanted to love urban decay products for so long and i wanted to invest in the brand but i have actually only purchased like two of their products and i don't like them so it's nothing wrong with the formula but it's just well it is something wrong with the formula it's very very creamy but it just kind of disappears in my skin and mm, i don't know i just don't like it, it feels like i have one of those walls again so a lot of highlighters in this video <laughs> i have two highlighters from milani and please okay i'm gonna talk about this one first i did get these sent to me and this is just not really my shade i don't really know why milani did this yeah i don't really understand the concept of these kind of products but when i am using this i can mainly dip into this one i cannot dip into any other of these unless i want to use them as a bronzer but not as a highlight and like i don't know there's something about it like i, I never reach for this just because of the fact that they have these two other ones in the pan as well. I don't know. There's something about it. And then talking about this one. This is the Illuminating Face Powder. Like it says on the back. Use this highlighter for brighter complexion. But you can also use this as a bronzer or blush for any instant healthy sun-kissed sun-kissed finish to be honest i don't really know what to do with this because this is too dark for me to use as a highlighter and 
it's too light for me to use as a bronzer and I don't really know why I would ever use this as a blush. Like if I dip, like I'm dragging my finger through all everything and it gives me more of a bronzy, non-existing shade. Like I don't know how to use this product. I, I have no idea. What should I do with it? Maybe I could use it as a face powder, but it's way too dark for me to use as a face powder and I don't even use face powder. So I don't really get the concept of this. And now I need to wipe my sides here again. Like, do you know what I mean when it comes to those freedom makeup products? Like, ugh. I do have an eyeshadow palette that I haven't really talked about that I don't really like. It's from ColourPop and it's my little pony palette. I do not love this palette and here's why by the way i have a video where i talk about this like six months ago or something and i also have a three looks one palette with this and i said like i don't know i didn't like the way i did my reviews back then because i said that ah oh, i have some cons and i have some pros but i didn't really talk about my standpoint and what i felt about a product which sucks like why wouldn't you do that the thing is that you only get three, four mattes. So you get this matte, which is way too light for me, or yeah, it's too light for me. You get these two and then you get this one, but also this is a satin and I don't really know why they put that in there. And then this like, sh some of the shimmer shades are just not really up to ColourPop's normal standard. They're way too like chunky and glittery and they're just not yeah as i said they're not up to color pops normal standard like these two shades are not my type of shades i never use these types of shades but they are up to the color pop standard but this one the purple and also a bit of the green actually has some like it has dried up a bit like it's just not up to color pops normal standard this is the least favorite palette that i have from color pop when it comes to their formula just because i don't feel like it's their normal formula i get that they were maybe trying out something but it's just not for me. And the last product I'm going to talk about is from Morphe. I purchased this high impact highlighter illuminator. This is the, their new highlighter palettes or the highlighter, their new highlighters. I bought the shade Stardust and I have used this once. Like I will be honest to say that I have only used this once, but I will give it some more shots, but I can already see that it has hard pan. It was hard to pick up with a brush, so I would recommend the uh, Sigma F3 brush once again for this kind of formula, but like it's just not really packing a punch. This is more of like a subtle highlighter and it's I don't think that I will like this one. I don't think that I will make this one work for me, but I will try it uh, a few more times before I make my like full review. But for now, this is not a favorite of mine. Like I am so disappointed because I really had high hopes for this and I was so excited about all of the new like rebranding with Morphe and it feels like Morphe should have great highlighters because all of the influencers that they work with always loves a, a like BAM highlighter so it would make sense for them to come out with a highlighter that is more like blinding and has a smooth formula for their influencers to talk about. I don't know. I just... I just don't think that I will end up liking this. That was some of the products that I had to talk about today. Please let me know which product that have been a letdown for you in the past. I would love to hear, but for now, that was all from me today. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, uh, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.